Hello, this is Sneaky Turtle with another KSP video. In this video, I am building the new Glen rocket. Uh, it's a pretty cool rocket. I think it's really cool. I mean, I know Blue Origin, it doesn't have the greatest, you know, record. But they're, they're a pretty cool company. I mean, if you... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I would say that most people haven't sent a rocket ship to space, and that's pretty cool that they've done that. I do think SpaceX is a lot better, though, but I do think their new Glenn rocket will be really cool. Um, it's literally just like an oversized Falcon 9, but whatever. Uh, yep, just a few engines there. I'm not actually sure how many engines they have, but those vectors seem to work really well, just for landing as well. And then the landing gear... Um, by the way, everything in this is stock. Nothing in this is, like... I don't even think any of this is breaking ground required. But here I am building the fins. So I use these little Delta Deluxe wings or whatever. Um, and then that little wing adapter piece. Um, it looks pretty good. I, I don't have the colors, because I don't have any mods to change the colors or anything. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so I left it like that. Then I copied those. And then I did that, and then I did that, and I would say keep it like that. I took those off, and I don't think that looks very good. And then I offset it inside. I think that looks a little better. And then those landing legs, stock landing legs, six of them, and then I put them inside of the fairing so that when they're retracted, you can't see them, but when they extend, uh, you can. So, cool. Um, it's just a huge rocket, too. I use skippers for the upper stage, and uh, there's me putting something inside of the uh, fairing. It is a uh, moon landing system. It's not Blue Origin's lander. Their lander is ludicrously stupid. I'm glad NASA chose SpaceX. I don't know why their lander is so weird. But this lander works in KSP uh, really well. I mean, this thing could fly to the moon. I didn't realize how much Delta V it had. So I decided to go with side mounted engines. Um, on that upper capsule for an ascent stage, but I knew that since stage wasn't going to have enough fuel to reach the moon orbit, so I was going to use part of the lower stage to get into orbit. Little parachute on the top, and then the twitch engines. And I'm just going to change some of the staging here and crossfade to launch. Throttling up the engines and... Lift off. I just think MechJeb looks a little more cinematic and cooler. Uh, and then throttle down the vectors until your thrust to weight ratio is at 1.5. That really helps with efficiency. Uh, and then by the time you hit 30 kilometers, you want to be at uh, 40 degrees or 90 degrees. Uh, the reason for this is you have to reuse the sage so it has to do a boost back burn. In real life, it will land on a barge in the ocean. But that's really hard to replicate in KSP without mods, and this is a stock build. So, the FMRS mod in MechJip is not required. Not at all. It just makes it a little easier. I did those blue origin flags too, they look okay. And then we'll go back to the booster in one second. Uh, yeah, this is continuing in a set. No flags on uh, upper stage. There's a flag. On the, there's two flags on the lander, actually. Uh, we'll go right back to the booster once we are safely in orbit. And fairing separation. We're out of the atmosphere. Now we're at uh, we have a 100 kilometer apogee, so we're gonna time warp up to that. I don't know why it's called an apoapsis in Kerbal Space Program. Because it's apogee in real life, isn't it? I think so. And it's perigee. Apogee and perigee. But it curbs, whatever. Okay, back to the booster. Landing it at the uh, KSC. Using MechJib to help with that. 
do not have to use mech jib. I just think it looks a bit more cinematic. I'm gonna shut off that engine when it begins to throttle down to have it more accurate, and then I'm gonna shut it, turn it right back on. Uh, I don't believe New Glenn has any air brakes. I just think it uses the fins. I'm not sure though. I don't know what mech jib was doing with that. Maybe it was trying to use the wings to like maneuver itself. There, I turned off the UI so you can see uh, see the booster a little better. Um, and MechJeb auto deploys landing gear, which is nice too. I don't know if Blue Origin will be able to land this booster, but anyways, back to the booster. Come in for a landing, bringing it back down to one time speed, deploying the landing gear, throttling up. Running down and touchdown, and we'll cover the vessel. And back to the booster or the upper stage. Sorry, uh, we're gonna go to the Mun in this KSP video. Yeah, I don't know if Blue Origin would be able to land that booster, cause that the what's that rocket? The Shepard, the new Shepard rocket, like. They, it like wobbles back and forth and hovers on its landing. I don't think they'll have enough fuel to do that with an orbital class rocket. They really have to get that landing procedure nailed down. SpaceX already has it nailed down. Starlink mission after Starlink mission. I can't wait to see Starship. That'd be cool. I don't know when SN15 will launch again, because they moved it back to the launch pad as if they were going to launch it again. They should. It's not dead yet. And we're going to the moon now. So... Yeah, I, on the descent, I almost lost control of the, uh, of the upper stage. I don't know why, but it just didn't have any gimbal for some reason. Also, make sure you put some RTGs on this. I forgot to put on RTGs, and I almost ran out of battery. Because I'm pretty sure this booster could do, like, a... And you could probably go to like Jules Moons if you expended the lower stage. But yeah, I start to lose control of the booster here and it just starts flipping around. So I'm trying to regain control by firing up the engines, which is not working. And then I'm getting too close to the ground, so it runs out of fuel. The stage, I fire up that terrier engine, and I'm coming in, put it back down to one time speed. The booster just blows up. I don't deploy the landing gear for some reason, and. Oh! That was a really hard touchdown. I don't know how it survived. I really don't. But it survived. <laughs> Deploying landing legs, going to radial out, putting the terror engine. And the terrier has a terrible thrust weight ratio, I don't know why. Because I this rocket's not even that big. And EVA in the Kerbal so that he can do some Kerbal things. I don't know what Kerbals do. Apparently they like snacks, so maybe he's just getting snacks. But no, he's planting a flag! Da -da -da -da. Then I just said, New Glen Landing Site. Oh, I typed that in really slow. Really slow, okay. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, but, yeah. And then I use his headlights to light up the flag. Blue Origin. They will not be landing humans on the moon first. But I don't, I don't think they're that bad of a company by any means, really. I mean, some people consider the, uh, the new Shepard uh, just a bungee jump to space, but I think it's pretty cool. The ability to carry a few people up into space and they can experience space for a while. And know that the rocket's fully reusable. 
The parachutes can be repacked and reused. The capsule can be reused and the boosters reused. So I don't know. But I do think SpaceX is better. I think the Starlink missions are really cool. I think the Falcon 9 is really cool. But back to the mission. Continuing an ascent. Yeah, I don't know. Here I just kind of... Yeah, that was- I don't know why that, uh, transition- I don't know, the transition software bug there, I don't know why. But just doing a little EVA and then I hop back in and... Time warp up to Apogee. And, uh... Um... Yeah, I don't know if there's really- there's not much to say, really. It's just a typical moon ascent. Sorry about that background noise. You can hear my uh, computer in the background making that uh, horrible noise. That's actually uh, the water cooler. So mine's a it's a desktop computer with a liquid water water cooler, and it's a really cheap water cooler. Like we made this computer as like cheap as possible. Uh, yeah, we just did because there was really no reason to. We just did, but like. Um, to save money, that's the real reason, but, uh, it's, it was, there's like an air bubble stuck in the uh, water cooler, so it's making that noise, uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna send the, uh, water cooler in, f probably tomorrow, so this will probably the, be the last video you see for like a week and a half, two weeks. I have some pre-recorded videos that I'll try to edit on another computer and upload, but that might not happen. Jettisoning the heat shield. Lighting up those engines. And I blew something up, but I don't know what. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you next time. And... Bye. Oh, also, I'm using the waterfall mod for this video as well. It's a pretty cool mod. Check it out. Bye.